uh, FIFA retains and reserves its right to revoke the mandate of one or several of the members of the Normalization Committee and or to nominate additional persons. Obviously, such a move would have to be uh, motivated by, uh, by, by uh, due reasons. According to Prime Sports sources, FIFA sent a letter to the president of the Normalization Committee, Dr. Kofi Amwa, confirming the removal of Loyadia Adenton as a member of the committee. According to sources, former Ghana international Samuel Osekufo replaces Loyadia Adenton, who was working on the status of the Ghana Football Association, with co lawyer in that committee, Madam Na Odofole Norte. Prime Sports sources have also revealed that Madam Lusukwist and Madam Na Odofole Norte would walk away from the job on March 31. If, if extension is granted to the normalization committee. We can also exclusively report that FIFA will reconstitute the four-member normalization committee and there's the likelihood that all members that made up the committee could move on. We understand there have been a frosty relationship between the Minister of Youth and Sports and the President of the normalization committee who have over the week argued over who has the power to manage football in the country. Our sources earlier revealed that few weeks ago, Dr. Kofi Amwa was at the Flagstaff House seeking the support of the president to seek for extension and according to our sources the president told Dr. Kofi Amwa nothing about football will be discussed without the presence of the sports minister who has been put in charge to oversee the administration of sporting disciplines in the country. Lawyer Dia Adentin is expected to leave the committee with immediate effect. FIFA will be in Ghana in the coming weeks to reconstitute the normalization committee as they are likely to give them an extension to conclude their mandate by August 31, 2019.